What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt and this is Near and Far Explorers. And we're doing a segment on famous graves of Ohio. And today's video is all about a woman who made tremendous strides for female rock stars, Patty Donahue of The Waitresses. We are over here at Holy Cross Cemetery in Brook Park, Ohio, and we're going to go find her grave and pay our respects. So without further ado, let's go check it out. I know what boys like. I know what guys want. As you enter, you're greeted by this beautiful stone cross and this fence here that gives you access to the Holy Cross Cemetery. Patty was born on March 15th, 1986 in Akron, Ohio. And her parents divorced at an early age. And her mother really turned Patty into her own independent woman. Like her mother, Patty Donahue went to St. Joseph Academy in Cleveland, Ohio, and then she attended Ohio State University, but she dropped out due to financial reasons. She attempted to finish her college degree over at Cleveland State University, but she didn't really like the college too much. So she decided instead to go to Kent State University. And this is where she would make it huge after meeting Chris Butler at a nearby bar. Butler would meet Patty at that bar when he proposed the idea of a song that he had written. He said it was a cool, hip, unique, and different song, and he needed somebody to sing it. Chris was a member of the band Tin Huey at the time, and they didn't really like the song, but Chris held firm to that belief that that song would go places. And that song was, I Know What Boys Like. Chris attempted to sing the song himself, but it didn't really gain that much success until he had Patty provide the lead vocals. Then it really got big. She recorded it for the album, Wasn't Tomorrow Wonderful? And it gained a lot of chart success. VH1 calls it one of the greatest one hit wonders of all time. And ranks it even higher as one of the greatest one-hit wonders of the 80s. That wasn't her only chart-topping hit song, however. The song Christmas Rapping made it even arguably bigger than I Know It Boys Like. Yes, Patty Donahue is buried over here in Section 13 of Holy Cross Cemetery in Brook Park, Ohio. We're about to go visit her grave somewhere in this graveyard right over here in this section is where she is laid to rest we're gonna go take a look and see if we could find her grave and pay our respects to this rock legend one of my favorite songs that she happens to be featured in is the alice cooper hit i like girls that is a really, really fun song, and she provides the vocals on that song as well. Well, Chris Butler did provide a lot of the lyrics and was the band manager and the band leader, the person that everybody flocked to. The main selling point of the band was, of course, Patty Donahue. She was the one that everybody turned to. She was the face of the waitresses, and she herself did a lot to bring a lot of notoriety to the post punk genre, the new wave genre, and a lot for other female vocalists as well. 
Many people consider Christmas wrapping to be one of the greatest holiday songs of all time. People find it festive and fun, and the lyrics are very Scrooge-like, and yet they have a lot to offer. It was quickly made. It wasn't even for a major purpose. There was no heart or feeling behind the lyrics, and yet it was a bonafide success. It was made cheaply and quickly to be thrown onto a compilation holiday album for the record company, along with all of their other artists, but that one stood out. Sadly, on December 9th, 1996, Petty Donahue passed away at an early age. She had a lifelong history with smoking cigarettes and she would die of lung cancer at the very young age of only 40 years old. And she would be laid to rest right over here in Brook Park, Ohio. There's a beautiful chapel on the grounds here and I really like this placard that is posted against the wall here. God is wonderful in his saints. He it is who gives his people strength and courage. Well, I spent a long time looking for this grave, but finally found it. Now we can finally pay our respects to the one and only Patty Donahue, Patricia J. Donahue, March 29th, 1956 to December 9th, 1996. Sacred Heart of Jesus, pray for us. I believe Joan H. Donahue is her mother, 1932 to 2004. She outlived her own daughter. Like I said, I probably spent about an hour or so looking for this grave, but it's pretty easy to find. All you gotta do is locate this chapel and then walk down the grass where there are no graves, follow the graves past this tree, and there she is. The grave of the waitress's lead singer, Patricia Donahue. Yeah, Patty, she lived a rock star life. Two major chart topping hits Christmas rapping, which you hear on the radio constantly, especially if you work in retail. And I know what boys like, which has been a staple of new wave music for years a staple so popular in fact that was even parodied by family guy i know what boys like i know what guys want i know what boys like boys like boys like me like i said she lived a good life she made huge huge drives in the world of new wave music she performed with alice cooper a man who i outright love i love that guy and she just lived a rock star lifestyle she died young only 40 years old i can't believe it but she did make an impact on our world and on our hearts. And that's something that's truly special. Something nobody can take away, even in death. Thank you all for joining me today as we pay our respects to this rock legend, Patty Donahue. Precious Patty, man, it really makes you think. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me on our adventure. Like I said, it was a bit of a sad one this time. Paying respect to 
a rock legend, but I hope you guys learned something and really just took a moment to appreciate this talented, talented artist. Yeah.